I didn't pay any tax. As you can see here, there is a government official at our front door. He's just made us pay a 10 million fine. He has confiscated all of our bank account and now we are forced to begin paying taxes. It's going to be a tricky one this episode. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'll just put the game back into speed. And you can see here, when we press play, we are going up a little bit because we're still making money, which is okay. But we are going to have to pay a lot of that in tax. Uh, but one thing I wanted to note is a couple of you guys were interested in uh, my rulings. Now, uh, one thing I failed to mention when I was designing my trains is, uh, if I have a, a, a locomotive, uh, we can store the locomotive inside the train depot. But the rolling stock has to go in a siding, like this. That's one of my rules. Um, and that's only for rolling stock. Uh, every steam train is unique, so I'm only allowed one steam train, but stuff like uh, multiple units uh, were mass produced, of course. Uh, well, I mean, so were some steam trains, but just for the sake of the rules, we're going to keep the steam trains as just one train. But as for multiple units go, we're allowed a couple of those, let's say. Uh, just, uh, just a few more than the average steam train, because it doesn't make a lot of sense. So going back from where we left off, yeah, there's the tax look, there's the tax. Well, uh, kicking back off where we started last episode, we started over here in West Hampton, uh, going through to Fancy Gap, and then going to Crossette with our steam locomotive, which you can see over here. Now this is a really poor steam locomotive, it's not very powerful at all. It can only pull two cars, which would make it poor power rating, and it's only a mediocre power rating with just the train locomotive. Uh, but as you can see here, we just this is cross set, and you can see there's not much happening over on this station. And the same story for kind of all of these. Like, yeah, sure, some of them have more passengers than others, but I think we can definitely increase passenger numbers, which we're gonna do. I mean, look at our look at our figures. It's we're gonna have to basically. There's no way or like around that. It's just something we have to do. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get to a stage where I can actually afford some very cheap things, like uh, like some sort of buses. I think I'm gonna get a taxi actually. I might get a taxi from the, this residential area and maybe actually loop around here. So go down here and then stop here or here, uh, loop around, bring it back to the train station. Try and just get a, a few more people going to the train station. Now, I did have a look at mail and I don't think we should do it just yet because I don't think it's of a, a vital importance for this sort of area. I definitely want to focus on this area of the map though. It's something I really, really, really want to do because there's just a lot of potential for this place. Uh, now the biggest challenge I'm going to have is Crosset to Felicity. Now this is a very essential route and eventually it, uh, it's this coffee refinery over over this bit. But I, I won't have enough money for that. That'll cost literally hundreds of millions I'm going to say. It'll cost a lot across the ocean. But it's uh, nice and shallow over here so that's okay. But yeah, I want to try and make some all of these industries do their jobs. Because at the minute there's a lot of industry and it's going to waste. Because by the time at this rate I'm going to get this industry going... The towns will have crawled over here and there won't be enough forest to produce that much coffee and wood. One thing is for sure, hopefully we get a new locomotive soon. So we're just coming up the hill here, nice and slowly. I did some research on this train actually, and as it turns out, it's unknown how many models of this train there were. Although it's presumed there was only one made, uh, because this train is the St. Petersburg to Moscow train that ran through the 1850s. So it's unknown how many models of this train were made. So as it turns out, I'm only allowed to use one of each steam locomotive anyway, but uh, it's nice to just know that only one was actually made. Interesting little fact for you. We're getting up here to 40 kilometers an hour, and this is actually the top speed of the locomotive, believe it or not. I know it doesn't look fast, but 40 kilometers an hour, this is the top speed of the locomotive as we pull inside of Fancy Gap. I thought it was, I was just going to check. I always forget the name of this one, I don't know why. We've made a little bit of profit here, barely anything, but it's enough to keep us going at least for a little while. And I really, really quickly want to just get this route out before we go into minus. And there we go, I knew that was going to happen very soon. Okay, well, I'm sure it'll go back out. We're only in minus six at the minute. <laughs> I said, said too soon there. Um, but uh, yeah, only minus three now and there's 1k. So yeah, we're about break even at the minute. So I, if I can keep this going for a little while, um, then I can have enough for a road depot, which is going to cost me how much? About 40k. And and then two of these, which are going to cost me 1,200. So I need, I need about 40k total. Uh, and then we can get our little sh shuttle bus to the train station booted up and ready to go. So we need, I'm first going to get the, the road depot. Yeah, we need to go to a, a quite uh, cheap place if possible. 
Ah, here's quite cheap. Let's see here. Okay, one of those there. And then let's very quickly build a street along here. Nice and straight. There we go. A bit of a waste of money there, but gets the job done. The only reason I've done that is just because the AI is going to do stupid turns and twisties and I just want it to look nice, at least near my areas. I'm not really going to touch the AI too much because money. Um, but <laughs> uh, yeah, like you can see they all like twisty turnies. I don't know why they do that. So I just keep it a bit grounded in my sort of industrial estates. Keep it nice and straight so it makes things easy. Uh, well, one thing I do like here, they've, they've kind of made a natural sort of park. You know, like when you're at work, you can you can take a nice stroll along the park, as unpaved as it is. I might do that in the future. Just build a little a little pavement to go around because I think this is quite a nice place, especially if you live here. Look at that; it's a, it's a great place. We need to get a a bus line up now, so we do actually have enough money. So I'm going to put one there, like that, because that covers more area. First of all, and second of all, it means the roads aren't the vehicles aren't crossing each other in the street, which is going to be annoying and cause traffic. And I'm going to have one here, obviously. Damn, those taxes are really getting us. It's like we do okay for profit and then at the end of the year just hits us with our tax. Like, it's crazy. One year and then boom, tax. All right, I'm very quickly going to place this down before I run out of money. So we need to quickly find a spot for this. I think probably there is the best spot. It's going to cause the least noise pollution. I'm going to quickly grab one of those and I'm going to very quickly run out of money here. I'm going to quickly grab two of those. Uh, duplicate, yes. Duplicate again, yes. Okay, great. We made it just in time before we ran out of money there. So we're gonna go from there to there. That's a pretty good route, actually. You see what I mean about the the no crossing over? That's what I wanted because if we have it on the other side of the road, it's gonna constantly be switching between. It. It'll cause a lot of traffic jams. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna call. Wait, what's this line? Is this a train? Ah, right, this is a train. I gotta name the the train then. So. You know, I, you know, I'm just going to call it Train 1. Let's just call it Train 1 for now. Keep things simple. What line colour should we go with? Let's go like a yellow, like a passenger yellow. Because it's a train route. Let's see. That's a passenger yellow, isn't it? Lovely. So, how's it going? How's this shuttle service? Is it doing well? Let's check. 3 out of 4 is not the best. Let's make, let's change the line and let's make that full on 1st Street. This is 1st Street, yeah. Make it full on 1st Street. So, come on, guys. Everyone in. Yeah, so you can see we, we do really good. We make loads of money. And then the tax hits and it just plummets. Now this one's going to be a bit more tricky. Because West Hampton already has amazing passenger numbers. So I don't really need to do too much. Although it would be nice to get some sort of bus going here. But regardless of if we're loading onto the train or not. I think it's just a bus service would be nice. So we need to get... I don't think we're going to be able to use this again. There's no road connecting, right? No, there's no connecting road. So we're going to have to build a new depot here. Let's get a road depot over this side. Can we fit it in is the question. Right, let's get rid of that. Can we fit a road depot in? Like, not on it near my house. No thanks. Let's get it like about, mm, about there-ish. Okay, one of those. Lock it up please. Uh, it's terrible. Can we get a curve? Yes, we can get a curve, but that's a bit too tight. Can we get a better curve than that? That's pretty good, actually. Do you know what? I will take that. That is a pretty good curve. I think that's the best I'm getting anyway. So we've got our road depot now. And we need some bus stops now. Look at that. Look, all the people are still there. And the train's only just left. Crazy. So let's get a stop in industrial. Oh, dear. Very poor. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So we've got... Uh, industrial's kind of off... The track a little bit i don't want to go too far over there with that but let's just say for now we'll get one of those like here i'm trying to not do it in front of a crossing but i'm kind of not got any choice here so if i get one like here it's going to be slightly annoying for the inhabitants of the industry but it's the best i'm getting i think so i'm going to put one like that no now we need one on this side of the road also but it's going to be down on this side of the town so we'll get one down here on the coast, like that. We're gonna go with that, and because that's kind of like you've got to pull in for that, so that's better. And then over here, we need one more at the train station. Um, that'd be nice on that side. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll loop around. So we'll put one there, like that. Lovely. And then we'll get a loop around up here. Now this could be a little bit tricky to do. 
So let's get a road. Can we do actually? Could we go like? Could we go? Let's see. Let me just put that in and see what happens. Could we get a route from there to there to there? Now where the hell is that taking us? Oh, it's crossover. I don't want that. Let's get rid of William Street. What about now? Hey, that's better. That's more like it. That's what I was going for, actually. Something along the lines of a, a, like a little route. Okay, yeah, I. Uh, that's the problem with that is, you see, people from residential are going to want to go to industrial and they're not going to get off at the train station. Yeah, that's annoying. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? We'll go, for it. We'll go with it for now, I think. I, think, I don't think it's too bad. So we'll just call this uh, West. That would be West uh, Shuttle. West Shuttle. Now we need some vehicles to go on it. So I'm just going to go with, like, let's say four for now. Let's put that on West Shuttle. And I think that might be okay. I think. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out anyway. But here, look at this. We're making some good money here. I'm sure I've just come at the moment after, a uh, moment just before we're about to pay tax. As you can see, I just paid 100k for some reason. Probably tax. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. We're making okay money, I suppose. So that's great. And by the way, I just want to say an extra thank you to the mod creator. I've actually got him on my friends list and he is an absolute legend. His name is Transport Tycoon Joker. Very strange name, I know, but genuinely this guy is an absolute legend like i've had a few issues with the tax mod and i have messaged him and within a couple of hours he's always replied and he's always fixed them the issues really quickly so genuinely i actually gave him an award on steam because this is it's the first ever award i've ever given by the way genuinely really good so i just wanted to say an extra thank you to you and i've already said it in message but uh, yeah extra thank you to you you've been excellent and if you're interested in all the mods, they're available down in the description for you, as well as the save game, which is linked also in that mod pack, so you can play along with me. So, we may have a serious people issue. By making in that shuttle service, we seem to have created a little issue here. As you can see, we have 90 people waiting on the platform for a train that is on the other side of the island. It has literally not even got to the final stop yet, it's not even turned around. And it's, there's 90 people waiting. 103 now. Wow, okay. Well, uh, I really hope we get a new train this episode. Um, I think I'd say we will get a new train this episode. Uh, which is going to be great. Because I think we do need an upgrade. It's, it's definitely due. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a... I don't know, we'll plan it out later. But I think for the for the for just the rough idea, I'll have a main line, which is a fast train. And then I'll have like a, a, a shunter sort of small line that goes a bit... A bit slower, you know, takes a bit longer. Just because his passenger numbers are absolutely crazy. I cannot tolerate 135 people. And look at this! 79 people waiting for a train here. Like, crazy stuff. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is we'll probably extend this line out and bring the track along through the, the yard. Bring it through to Summerland. And get a little stop going here. And then I also need to do some train stuff because eventually I'm going to need to signal block this stuff. Um, so I think we should be okay actually. I think we're okay. We're out of the blue for tax at least. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've still got to pay $10 million. We're in debt by how much now? We're in debt by uh, minus 9.7 million. Quite a lot. Quite a lot if you ask me. But I think we're in a good situation to get out of it. So yeah, let's let the money accumulate. I'm going to add another car to the train. Um, so I'm going to send it to depot really as soon as we get... Actually, I'm just going to send it to depot now. Uh, yeah, so basically uh, I have too many passengers like you know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kick all the passengers off at this station quickly. So they're all getting off. Right, kick them all off the train. And I'm going to get back, uh, get this train back to the depot. And I'm going to add an extra piece of rolling stock to the train. Because currently, there's too many passengers, not enough capacity. One of those there. Oh, and I don't have enough money for that. Come on, game, give me some money quickly. There we go. Alright, let's stick that back onto the line. Starting up, let's have a look at the speed on the side here. It's going in at 15, 17. So we'll see how far it goes before it gets to full speed here. It's only 16 kilometers an hour. Quite slow, especially. It's, I mean, it's okay. We're in a suburban area, but you'll see here we're going a little bit faster now. We're leaving the city, up to 31, 32, 33, 34. Nope, still staying at 33. 
Okay, yeah, I think you get my point. It takes quite a while for the train to get to speed, which is okay because our cities are quite far apart in this map. But I can imagine in some maps that's not very good at all because you're never going to have the train going at full speed. Here we go, we just got to 40, just uh, just about this machine factory. So you can see, get to about the halfway point and then uh, at least on this part of the route. Over here, it's not so bad. The whole thing's straight and flat, so that's okay. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this video today, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure, as always, to give the like and press subscribe. Uh, so, once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in episode number five.